you are more than enough for this moment. And even if you feel that you aren't, you are. So often, many just believe that there has to be more to them to be able to share with others and to show up in a way that can really make a difference. You can be both more than enough in the moment as more of your compelling greatness or greater self is coming forth. But you don't need to withhold yourself and think that you're not ready. You are ready for something and someone at a certain level. And that's the place that you come from. What's evolving in and through you and will be emerging to come forth, that's what's cultivating in you during this time. That's what's queuing up in the next best version of who you are for a certain segment of your experience. But all you have is now. And everything that has led you up to this point, this moment, makes you enough. In fact, more than enough for certain situations. If you get too far out there, of, of trying to bring in a future version of yourself that's not fully grounded and anchored and wanting to share from that place, you're doing yourself a disservice and also others who could really benefit from the nowness of you. They, people need the nowness of you and you need the nowness of you, right? So you are more than enough in the moment for yourself and for whatever else is presented to you. Sure, will there be things that come your way that will stretch you to go beyond your current expansion? Absolutely. But you are more than enough to step into that. You are prepared to go that distance. You're prepared to take the next evolutionary leap and to step into what may feel and seem like a chasm that is unfamiliar, the unknown should excite you. Because the unknown and beyond your comfort zone, so to speak, is where your next best self is residing and ready for you to connect there. But in order to connect with that quote-unquote version of yourself, you have to understand that you're more than enough in the moment. More than enough in the moment. Simultaneously, your current self and this emerging self are operating together. But it's who you are in the now and what you're doing in the now that expands you into that larger context of who you are and who you're truly meant to be. But if you forfeit your powerful self in the now by trying to operate from something that has not come into full fruition in actualization of who you are, again, you're going to shortchange yourself. You're going to forfeit in the moment the true authenticity of who you are and what individuals actually need from you, but also what is required of you from yourself. In truth. So you are always more than enough. You are. You have everything it takes within you right now to motivate yourself. To move yourself beyond where you are. Because it's going to start with you. Even if you seek or feel that you need external help or validation, so to speak. It has to start with you. You have to first have God validation and self-validation and then other things will be added on to you. If you're looking for recognition from others but yet not recognizing who you are, you're going to continuously be invisible. 
and overlooked and feeling like you are simply not enough. Where do we even get this concept of we're not enough? Or you sometimes they think you're an imposter. Well, that's impossible to be in that framework or format of yourself if you're actually being true to who you are. So that's what you need to clarify. You need to get present with yourself and say, am I, am I actually operating in my truth? Because sometimes you're operating below your greater potential. You're not actually showing up in life in the fuller capacity of who you are that wants to be expressed. The moreness that is readily available and wanting to come through you, you're not connected to yourself enough to allow that. That's why sometimes you feel like you're not enough because you haven't connected to the totality of who you are at this phase. So again, you are more than enough in this moment as the greater part of your expansion is coming forth. When you share from who you are in this present time, it's bringing you more uh, fully into that which you think you aren't yet. That you think you have to pretend to be. You don't have to even pretend to be a next level version of yourself. Because the fullness of who you are right now is more than enough to quote unquote, get the job done. <laughs> so don't worry about what isn't perfect. Don't worry about where you need to maybe skill up more. Maybe develop yourself more, even maybe love yourself more and respect yourself more. You can be doing both, showing up as who you are now, as the other parts of you are in progress or under construction, so to speak. <laughs> the newness that's emerging. Just don't sell yourself short. Don't sell yourself short. Do not withhold your greatness. Do not withhold the gift of why you were even born, why you're here. Because you don't think that you are enough. If you find yourself somewhere where you don't feel like you are enough, that means you're in the wrong space. Or you haven't allowed yourself to expand into the truth of who you are so that you can fill that space. But again, you're more than enough now. You're worthy of everything that the Most High wants to bestow on you during this time. There's always going to be the moreness that will be part of the ever-increasing journey of evolution. But again, all we have is now, and you are here now, and you are more than enough now. And if you are struggling to understand that, uh, you can check in the description below. I have resources that can help you to expand that moreness of you while you are confidently aligning yourself with the truth of who you are now, getting in touch with that more than enoughness and declaring that you are enough. I am enough. I am more than enough. And my enoughness for the moment is going to align me with every good thing that is for my highest and best. So just sending you some love and inspiration during this time. And I'll be back with you soon. Remember, you're more than enough.